Hey there, Ghost. This is Bone Frog coming at you with another video. So, uh, <clears throat> I am just past the 100 hour mark in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So, I wanted to check in, tell you what's doing with me and what I think of the game so far. Um, alright, so let's hit some basic things. Uh, gear scores. Um, not a fan, never have been, never will be, really. Um, like to roll with just one primary. It's what I always wanted in Wildlands. We finally got it in Ghost Mode. Um, however, here in Breakpoint, you'll notice that it is heavily penalized, um, meaning all of my gear at this point, yeah, I have been grinding pretty hard for gear, um, all of my gear right now is, with the exception of this pair of boots, is 233. Um, however, lacking that second primary drops my score down to 184. And the only way I can get this is rolling out on another uh, preset, which I won't change right now because you do that in the wrong time, it totally screws up your whole deal. Um, is rolling out the preset where I have uh, two primaries on my back. Mostly what I do with, with that is uh, faction missions and a few side missions, especially some replays on side missions just to get gear. So there's that, okay. Um, I'm disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. I am disappointed that, the, uh, that they're hitting us for the second primary. Um, considering how widely uh, requested it was to have only one primary, or at least the option. Okay, I understand some people like to do two for whatever reason. And, you know, honestly, if I'm going to roll into a raid with a group of people, sure, I'll take two along. Just one, because of the gear score issue, obviously, even though the minimal gear score is 150. Um, if you've ever done prog rating, you know how that's going to work. I want everybody to be... Most groups will want you to be well overpowered. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I would roll into a raid with that. PvP, clearly, probably the same thing. Um, I don't want to get kicked from a server or whatever. Uh, let's see. Um, some other things that are going on. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about microtransactions. Okay. And yes, they are selling stuff. You can buy weapons, blueprints. Though you can find all of these, except for some cosmetic ones, which I think are ugly anyway, personally. But hey, if they float your boat, go for it. Um, you can find all of those in the world. Um, so there's no real pay to win on that aspect. Attachments, same thing. Um, you can find all the attachments in the world. You don't have to pay for them. Um, vehicles. I've got nobody. I, I primarily pay, play solo. I have no AI team right now. So I've got nobody to ma man the various guns and turrets on these. So I see no point personally in buying vehicles. Um, especially ones that I can't find in the world or buy it. Uh, Maria's shop. Maria seems to be fairly well uh, stocked in that regard. Um, cosmetics gear. Some of this stuff is only available um, here online. Uh, and I understand that's a frustration to some people. And some of it was available online and now is available in Maria's store for scale credits. And that, I understand, is upsetting some people as well. Um, for instance, if we come over here, uh, where is it? Uh, not Rosebud. Fury, Fury. Fury's backpack. Fury's pants. Uh, they're selling both of those in the um, in Maria store now for scale credits. And originally they were, people thought, that they were exclusive to... The cosmetic store here online um, and so people that bought them for basically real-world money are now upset 
Um, I, I I'm not going to get involved in that that one to be honest. I mean, I see pluses and minuses to both. Okay, so you paid real money, so any character save you do, you don't have to grind for the credits to buy them in Maria's store. That's but maybe that isn't what you wanted. I don't know. Um, you know, and at the same time, people who thought they were exclusive to here put down good hard-earned money, real money, and then uh, find out that they could get them with scale credits in the world. Um, so there's that. Okay, uh, like I said, I'm not going to delve too heavily into that. Uh, tattoos, yeah, the, some figures... Uh, emotes, some melee weapons. Okay, it's, it's stuff. None of this helps you play the game, though. Okay, it may look good for you. You may want it for the appearance sake. Um, well, let's be honest. None of it helps you play the game. If you want to put on a battle kilt, by all means, feel free. But it's not going to change anything at the end of the day. Um, Let's see what else they have going on in here. Uh, yeah, camos, right? So, open that up. And as you can see, I've gotten a few of these that I've wanted um, because I could. So I did. Uh, I have no regrets about it, and if they wind up selling them in Maria's store, I'll still have no regrets about it because I have the look I wanted, and that's what I wanted. Um, again, that's, that's my view on microtransactions in a game. Uh, if you want it, if you like the game, which I do like this game, even though it has some things that frustrate me, if you want it, if you like the game and want to support the game and you can afford it in your budget, then go ahead. Um, if, if it will improve your your enjoyment of the experience. If you can't check those boxes, then don't do it. Um, there's nothing forcing you to here. Okay. Uh, so the next thing they have is they're selling scale credits, which this one I really don't understand. Um, I know some people are like, oh, they're going to make it harder to grind for credits um, so they can sell them. I just, I'll point you to this right here. I'm I'm not hurting for credits right now um, and I just buy whatever I want actually I need to clear out a bunch of gear because my inventory is getting full uh, so there's that time savers yeah they have them do you need them no if you want them okay whatever um, the way they have it in game right now with after this latest, latest patch, you can get any of these upgrades really easily. Crafting materials, man, you can come by those with great ease. Just need to wander the world some. Um, so, yeah, there's there's all of that. If they are going to put other time savers in there, what I mean by that is uh, skill points and. Um, uh, boosters for the battle thing, um, battle tiers. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Skill points, I look, I get it. There's people want to buy the game two months from now, jump into PvP, and not be disadvantaged to people that have been playing for months. Um, they have all the perks unlocked. So yeah, they're gonna pay for skill points, I guess, to unlock their, their skill trees. I, I, I don't know. Um, maybe. The battle thing, you know, again, it's if you want it. Okay. Um, I'll show you where I'm at with that. Here on the map. Um, so, I just passed your... 24 here um, right I've got 48 more days to make the last 25 tiers not overly concerned uh, 
I've already started getting duplicates of some things. Um, I've gotten this knife a couple of times. So I'm not much, even though I've opened a couple more crates, I'm not much further in eliminating my still unchecked boxes here. Um, eh, it is what it is. Okay, so let's look Okay, at what we're going to see. Is they've changed this a little bit. So you got the sports car. Woohoo. Um, if that's your deal, if that's your day, go for it. Uh, a weapon paint. I know that's a highly requested paint, so okay, I. It is what it is to me. Um, a backpack. I'm not using a backpack right now. Maybe if that one looks decent, I might on one dress out. But again, I'm not that that concerned with it. The AK-74 assault. Um, okay, it's another weapon that has three bur three round burst and full auto with no semi-auto, not interested in that personally. Uh, a couple more crates, uh, a Mark 48 compact, okay, um, ooh, a less stable LMG, that's what we always need. Um, Arteris Ghost, you can buy that in Maria's store, so I'm not if I want that, I can get that right now. I don't need to wait till I burn through to there. Um, battle crate, battle crate. Uh, what's this? Weapon paint. Oh, I can make my, my guns gold. Woohoo. Um, again, not something I'm overly interested in. An emote. Yay. Um, not big in the emotes, personally. Another crate. German three color. I know that's another highly requested um, camo it's there you gotta get to tier 45 a helicopter okay M4A1 tactical um, we'll see what that means when we get to it I think it's a DMR version still looking for the short versions of the M4A1 and the 516 I've seen the short I have the short version of the 416 don't want to use it so um, and I'll explain why in a second. Another crate. Uh, eventually I'm going to run out of stuff to have in the crates. Um, Nomad. So if you want to dress your character like Nomad, there you go. There's Nomad um, at tier 49. And then you start all over again. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. Um, and if people come in and man, they really want that nomad figure right there, I guess you know they could throw in some boosters and get it. That's that's their choice. Okay, so let's see, it's up here. I love how they do all this. Uh, so yeah, this is the 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 CQB version of um, the 416, and. Uh, Yeah, the stock here bothers me. Okay, and look, it's just pixels on a screen. It's just about, at the end of the day, it is about performance and game, not necessarily uh, um, aesthetics. But here's the thing that just, it burns my noodle. This is, uh, okay, history of these stocks. Um, I know everybody says today, oh, they're California legal. That is true. And... That's probably one of the main reasons they're still in production to fit onto rifles like that. Um, those stocks came in as target stocks um, for uh, to meet Olympic rules for target shooting way back when. And then the in the U.S. at least the assault rifles ban happened and. Um, one of the ways to get around the assault rifle ban was to add one of those target stocks onto your carbine and suddenly you had a, uh, uh, federally legal weapon, or rifle, sorry. And the NRA was so kind as to start a whole new category of shooting sport called carbine, um, and... The rest is history. They kind of went out of style for a while until California passed its 
wacky laws. Um, and now there you have it. Okay, that's that. Uh, don't really need to dwell on that much. So that's where we are in the game. Um, I'm somewhere between... You know, okay, so sometimes I log in and it tells me I've got 30% of the story done. Sometimes I log in and it tells me I have 50% of the story done. Um, I've got no end. Here, I'll go back to the map here and, and give you a visual on this. Um, I've got no end of uh, side missions to do. Um, if I show you, let's see, I've done... One, two, three, four. I've done nine of them so far. I've got nine more to do, and there are large portions of the map. If you look at the overall map, if I scroll out, that I still haven't even uncovered yet, and I'm semi-certain that there are a bunch more side missions there so there's plenty to do in the game um, even aside from the story now given that I've here let's look at the story um, so story missions first story mission is find your way off the island which is Maurice Fox um, and then you wrestle you J scale and from J scale you wrestle you do these Five missions to uh, rescue Christina Cromwell. All right, so one, two, five, seven, and then I've done uh, this lady. Three more here. Uh, so ten missions so far. If twenty total missions is the overall of what we have in this game if I really am 50% of the way through I'm going to be somewhat disappointed more than somewhat because that's a really thin storyline um, compared to what we had in Wildlands um, I think we had what like 18 Buchones in Wildlands uh, so 20 total story missions um, is a lot less in my opinion um, and I, yeah, like I said I'd be, I would be disappointed in that okay so right just look this up sorry that's why I was kind of a little bit distracted there so we had 26 bosses in Wildlands each one had several three to four sometimes five missions under them so um, if we only got 20, 20 total story missions here, I'll be really, really disappointed. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'll keep you updated as if you haven't noticed. So, yeah, I, look, I know there's a lot of hate on a lot of things. Um, Weaponsmith, you know, uh... They, so for a while you weren't able to get the ACOG there was a glitch in the system now you can get it and everybody's upset that it's not you can't attach it to a um, assault rifle standard assault rifle but I'll say this in their somewhat um, defense you never could it was never there um, Though, what I think is funny is you've got the ability to put an LCAN on, um, but not an ACOG. Now, personally, I prefer the LCAN um, to an ACOG. And, I mean, if, if I'm going to put my life on it, and I'll tell you why. One, an LCAN is usually 1.6. Um, I don't think it says on that one what it is. Uh, right? And... Whereas a an ACOG is always three power, the, the typical ACOG one, um, the one they're using in the game anyway. Uh, 
So you have the ability to flip back and forth mag magnification. So if you want to go close quarters, you can flip one way. If you want to reach out and crush someone, you can flip out to. And it's just a. It really is just a flip of a switch on the other side of that site. Um, that's reason number one. Reason number two is eye relief. You have several inches of eye relief on this, which means how far your eye can be from the site, which allows you to have peripheral vision. Um, in the uh, with the ACOG, you don't, so you have to have it really close up on you, and it cuts out your peripheral vision. I'm just talking real life reasons why I would prefer it, and then. Lastly, is the Elcan has both a, a vertical and horizontal parallax, which means as long as you look through the tube and see the crosshair, it will always be on the target. Um, whereas uh, the ACOG does not; it doesn't have horizontal parallax. It's vertical parallax, so up down doesn't matter. But if you're head is to the side a little bit if you're leaning around and looking through the site at an angle it will be off um, so those are the reasons for that um, again it's it's all personal preference at the end of the day but you've got the Elcan so um, let me actually try that so right now I'm running this uh, so there's I think that's about everything I want to cover right now so yeah I understand there's some people that are, some people are upset um, and look there's still a lot of bugs they said they would um, take care of the dirt my guy's been sitting so long enough for Looks like they have, but if I go five steps, uh, didn't do it that time. Here, prone, prone camo, stand up. Now my gun is green. I sprint a little bit, dirt falls off of me. My gun is still green. It doesn't look like they got rid of the dirt the way they said they would. So, um, we'll see. Uh, they're going to have another patch in two weeks, and hopefully they'll clear out a lot more of these bugs then, and uh, some other things. So, um, yeah, the only other thing that's really irking me is... Um, yeah, let me actually go into the... Uh, I mean, other than gear score, the gear score irks me, don't get me wrong. Um, yeah, I probably should have skipped the animation. Okay, sorry about that. Um, is the... A lot of these challenges are bugged. Like, I killed all 70 of those enemies without ever breaking, uh, without ever being detected. Most of the time it was white. Sometimes it may have gone to yellow and never went to orange, which is when you're actually detected. Um, so I still haven't gotten that one. Here, uh, it took me three days to get, to kill my 40 people, um, with that one. I haven't tried that one yet. We'll see what happens here. Um, it's the same sort of thing, though. A lot of these challenges wind up being bugged. And it's just, these are simple things that I think they should have worked out before the game launched. That's just me. So, um, that's it. I mean, look, I know there's a lot of hate out there. I don't really get it, to be honest. I'm not a hater. I like the game. I'm glad I spent my money on it. I've already gotten one, over 100 hours of entertainment from it, and I see many more hours of entertainment ahead. So, yeah, I'm a happy frog. So, until next time, Bone Frog out.